Hi everyone, welcome to our live. My name is Nicole Romes. I'm the first VP of the SGMP NatCap chapter. I'm uh, trying to add in our guest right now. Let's see if I can add her in. Today's supplier Instagram takeover by Shannon Gallagher, CGMP of the True Baltimore or the True by Hilton Baltimore Hotel, which is a brand new property. So I'm so excited to hear all about it. Hi. Shannon, welcome. We figured Hi. it out. I'm impressed. <laughs> Technology is not my strong suit, but getting very better in the world of COVID. So. <laughs> <laughs> so can you share with us some background about your new property with us? Yeah, so we are very excited. Um, we are a brand new hotel that just opened in Harbor East um, in Baltimore City. We opened, tomorrow will be our two month anniversary. So um, that was a lot of fun. We are a new brand with Hilton. Um, we are energetic, we're relaxing, we're comfortable. Um, we are completely unprecedented. We're really that new millennial travel space um, with things to do all throughout the hotel. Um, so we're, we're very uniquely true to the brand um, and our portfolio. Um, we're located in upscale Harbor East and historic Little Italy, so there are numerous dining and retail options within walking distance. Um, we're also within walking distance to the National Aquarium, Camden Yards, the Ravens, who are now in the playoffs. We're very excited <laughs> about that. Um, the World Trade Center and so much more. So it's, it's a great place uh, to be. Yeah, I absolutely love that area of yeah. Baltimore. So I'm so excited so to have nice. another option. So very tell nice. us about how, well, I'm not going to say adapted to reopening, which is my normal question, but how you guys opened during COVID. Yeah, so luckily for us, we didn't have to reopen. Um, we are a brand new hotel, so we did have the luxury of opening with all of the CDC guidelines already in place. Um, we worked very closely with Hilton to make sure the clean stay program um, was initiated and ready for our guests to travel safely. Um, it's a little more difficult because we can't show our smiling faces. Our new uniforms are branded masks. So that's a lot of fun. Um, and we can't, you know, give those special touches for amenities and really customize things for the, for the guests. So we've been doing a lot more to overemphasize with verbal communication um, and attention to detail and pretty much just kind of going back to the basics of hospitality and, you know, that old school method of, you know, really focusing. So that's kind of been the biggest adaption, which it is fun um, and exciting, <laughs> but, but very different. So <laughs> very different. And I love to hear it's back to the basics. Yeah. Oh, so true. And so what's the top question you're hearing from planners right now? Um, basically, what are we doing to keep cleanliness and in, in the safety for, for the guests at check-in, right? Um, you know, planners are very focused on making sure that anyone that they're sending to the hotels are, are going to be safe and we're abiding by, you know, the rules and regulations. So we have enforced everything from, you know, social distancing to hand sanitizing machines. I mean, we have signs all over the hotel asking people to ma maintain distance. Um, we've moved our furniture around. We've taken a lot of things out of the guest rooms. We've put a lot of mandates in the guest rooms. Um, and we've minimized our breakfast, too. So in, in a normal world, we have an amazing buffet breakfast that is all topping space. And you can kind of make your own creations anywhere from Reese pieces to sprinkles to <laughs> there's like 38 options. It's absurd and amazing all at the same time. Um, but we've had to change that. We've had to do more grab and go. We've had to be more creative while still, you know, looking at those nutrition guidelines, making sure we have grain free options and, um, you know, vegan options and things Very like fun. that. Yeah, we're also working very closely with um, Visit Baltimore. We're very fortunate that our CVB is um, really dedicated to bringing guests and conventions back to our city. So they have created an initiative for our entire city um, with pretty much all of our hotels that they are allowing us to be GVAC star certified. Um, oh, wow. So we're all going through that process now to make sure as a city, as a collective, um, we're ready to welcome guests back. So that is so great. That's great. News <sighs> yeah. So yeah, Al and his team and Aurelia and Cream have been amazing. So we're we're very lucky that um, hopefully soon um, we'll all be certified and we can really push that as like a safe city, not just a safe hotel. Mm -hmm. So very lucky. Yeah, that's great news. I'm glad mm -hmm. that Susan Baltimore is so involved. Yeah. 
And what's the biggest concern you have right now? Um, for us, it's really, you know, how readily available vaccines are going to be and when we're going to get back to that, that normalcy. Um, we're, we've, we've already started seeing the vaccines be distributed in Maryland, um, which is very exciting. Um, so we're hoping that we can get those out quickly and we can start getting back to um, some sort of travel and being able to see my friendly planners' faces again because I know right? everyone. I, mean, so up. I, want, to I want to hug people so bad. It's just absurd. <laughs> so. Absolutely. Sign me up. I'm ready to come visit you guys. Yes. Anywhere. I'm ready. Yeah. Uh, so do you have any exciting events or opening that aren't necessarily COVID related? I mean, everything's exciting for you right yeah. now, right? Yeah. So our grand opening, right? We're getting, we're trying to figure out when that's going to be. We're pushing it to the spring just so we can do it outside and really may mm -hmm. not be indoors and be able to make it more, make it safer. Um, and it's just, it's exciting to plan that, but it's also exciting to really learn about the obstacles and finding ways around that because a grand opening now looks so much different than it did a year ago. Um, a year ago, I could have past hors d'oeuvres and right. wine glasses with no plastic lids on top of them. So now it's um, really working very closely with our brand reps, uh, with Hilton, um, and trying to figure out what is safe? What does that look like? How can we really have a grand opening where we can you know, invite some of our, our great, our top planners and our, our local you know, executives and still you know, not have anyone worry or have any, you know, backlash from it. So right. it's exciting and, and fun, but also very challenging. I think Which spring is so very smart. Yeah. Because um, for those of you not in the DC metro area, it's cold out there. It is cold. Guys, and you might not think it's cold if you're from like Canada or something. I don't know. I think I it snowed in Austin cold. the other day. So it's snowed the in world. <laughs> the world. I don't know what's happening anymore. Right. <laughs> so spring is smart. I'm a yeah. big fan of spring. <laughs> I agree. So what's one thing you were surprised to learn during the process of opening? So time matters um, with COVID. We, um, getting things to arrive on time, um, something as simple as milk has been a challenge in our world. So really, um, you know, making sure we're, we're really watching that inventory, making sure that if we're opening a property, we have enough time to get, you know, shower doors in-house oh, yeah. because you know with the furloughs and all the companies everything was backdated um, they didn't have enough staff to produce things so time really does matter um, to take advantage of it and then just how extensive it is to really like sanitize and clean a room um, it's so much more time consuming than you could possibly imagine to go in there and just really make sure that we're you know following those guidelines and standards and procedures and then for reopening or even opening, you know, these rooms have been sitting for, for months. So making sure the water is clean. So running everything for a while to make sure that it's clear and there's no pathogens in it and testing that. So the treatment of the water was, was a big thing for us too, because we wanted to make sure that everything was safe um, when we did open because it, the pipes right. were sitting for a long time. So absolutely. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. I'm so yeah. glad you guys are doing that too. <laughs> yeah, you know, I like to drink the water, so gotta be safe. <laughs> Same. So, a little out of the hotel room, what's the one place you are looking forward to visiting when it's oh. safer to travel? Greece. So, Greece is definitely on my bucket list. It's been at the top, and we have a brand new hotel, uh, but we have a Hilton that's opening. It's a curio collection in Crete. And I'm very excited for it. So I'm hoping that it's open. If Christina is on this call, I'm hoping <laughs> that she can hook a sister up. Um, but it we'll looks amazing. I know. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I can make it right. um, over to Greece when this is over. I'm, honestly, I would go to Virginia if any. I, I'm willing to go anywhere these days. To go. I just want to be at the beach right now. Like before I'd all That's these fair. plans of where I would go mm, and everything. About, I, I just want to be at the beach. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Sign me up. Let's do it. Right. Let's go. Let's go to Tampa. We'll go see Brittany. <laughs> we'll go see Brittany. Absolutely. She would welcome us. So I know this one's a little, I, I didn't send you this question in advance, but since it's a new hotel, what's your favorite spot? Oh, okay. So the game center is my absolute, I have two favorite spots. So I'm in our game center at the moment. So I'm, can I flip this? I think so. 
So our game center is oh. in our lobby space. So we, every true has its own kind of mural that's dedicated to its city and location. Um, and then some of them have shuffleboard tables or a pool table. We opted into the shuffleboard table. And oh, then is we, that, does that have the logo on the shuffleboard table? It does. It's very exciting. That is so cool. I know. I love that. And then we have a ton of board games. Just it gives guests a lot of options of things to do when they're on site. Um, a lot more work because we have to track and clean everything. But mm -hmm. um, they really do love it. We have a lot of families and a lot of leisure guests that are staying. So they really do enjoy having other things to do other than sitting in a guest room. So I think this is probably one of my two favorite spots. <laughs> I love it. That's, yeah. That is the greatest game room I've seen. It is. It's a lot of fun. So is there anything else you want to share or put out there about the hotel? No, I mean, we're open. We're excited. We are ready to welcome guests um, if everyone is safe um, and comfortable. And we look forward to seeing you when you are ready. So, yeah. Absolutely. That sounds so great. Thank you so much for joining us yeah. today, Shannon. And everyone who's joined us online, thanks for coming back to our, our first Instagram Live in a little bit now. And we're, we're going to have several more lined up for you. And don't forget to sign up for our first meeting back after the holidays. Uh, yeah. January 27th, we're talking about um, it's Mind Body Matters. So how are you working out? How are you getting your mind right when you're stuck at home at mm -hmm. a desk all day? So I've got a 24-7 fitness center, so... There you go. There you go. That's what I need. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. Bye, Shannon. Bye.